In this video, the topic of discussion will be RT-PCR and PCR. We will first go through what is RT-PCR and then uh, we will go through PCR so that we can understand the difference between uh, RT-PCR and PCR. Also, RT-PCR means reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. So how that is uh, occurred and uh, what is the process that is followed uh, in the lab. Uh, first, the sample is collected and from the samples the RNA need to be extracted and there are different strategies that are being performed to extract RNA uh, based on the uh, kind of sample and once the RNA is extracted we need to uh, convert this RNA uh, to get the genetic uh, information uh, that is uh, DNA of this RNA and in order to do this we use uh, cDNA uh, poly cDNA enzyme the cdna uh, we uh, sorry we use reverse transcriptase enzyme to form uh, cdna that is complementary dna and once the complementary dna has been formed we need to uh, remove it from the rna in order to uh, do this uh, the process that is usually followed is heating uh, with the help of heating the double standard uh, is converted into the single standard so here the cdna has been uh, cdna has been separated from the rna after that uh, we need to uh, replicate uh, this uh, complementary dna into a quantity uh, that can be used for further experiment in order to do this we need to multiply uh, this uh, we need to multiply the copy of this dna so here is the example of uh, one of the uh, copy of this DNA. How the one of the copy of this DNA is been done. Uh, thus, uh, we need to include. So, in order to replicate replicate the uh, DNA, we need to include the primer and also this DNA polymerase, which is uh, usually called tuck polymerase. So, what happens is that. Oh, oh, when the sample is heated, the complementary DNA is separated from RNA. After that, the annealing step needs to be done. So what happens in this annealing step, the temperature goes down so that primer can bind to this single-stranded uh, DNA. And, at the, uh, and after that, this tuck polymerase uh, will uh, join this. Uh, tuck polymerase will help uh, to bind the uh, further complementary nucleotide as it goes from 5 prime to 3 prime and uh, once uh, this uh, sequence is completed once the dna uh, sequence has been completed it is then formed a double stranded dna and when the double stranded dna is formed uh, it will uh, follow the same process that is uh, heating has been provided so that this double stranded DNA is uh, converted into the single stranded DNA and then primer will bind to each of this single stranded DNA and tuck polymerase will uh, then continue the addition of nucleotide uh, based on the single stranded DNA. So this is how with uh, each uh, cycle uh, each single stranded DNA is been uh, replicated. So uh, this is after like uh, 20, 15 to 20 cycle we uh, we will have a sufficient amount of uh, DNA to measure the experiment or to do the experiment and uh, get the required result. And what is uh, how this uh, P RT PCR is different from PCR? There is just a minute difference in the uh, beginning. Uh, that is, uh, in the case of PCR, uh, DNA is directly extracted uh, from the uh, sample. That is uh, in the case that is with the help of cells. Uh, for example, uh, here it is shown with the help of cells. The cells is sliced and then DNA is extracted. That is double stranded DNA. And then heating is done. Uh, this uh, with the help of uh, heating double stranded DNA is then uh, break down into single stranded DNA and then annealing during the annealing step this uh, procedure remains same 
that is the primer will bind to it and tuck polymerase uh, will then continue the addition of nucleotide based on the single stranded dna so the only difference is that there is no reverse transcriptase in the uh, pcr uh, whereas there is a reverse transcriptase in the uh, rt pcr to convert rna into the dna so let us understand one more thing in this uh, video uh, that is tuckman so this is uh, a specific kind of primer as we can see here uh, it helps to measure the amount of dna that has been formed because of uh, pcr reaction or rt pcr reaction how this happens is that in the usual condition this uh, primer uh, does not give any kind of fluorescence because the quencher is close to the fluorescence so and uh, this will uh, this moiety will give fluorescence only when the difference uh, distance between quencher and fluorescence moiety is uh, cross the threshold limit however in the uh, normal condition it is the distance between fluorescence moiety and quencher is less than the threshold value so what happens in the annealing step the primer binds to it and the uh, dna polymerase starts to add, uh, add nucleotide based on the uh, sequence of single stranded dna and when it comes as it is shown in this figure uh, when it is come uh, at the uh, this tuckman primer it will remove this uh, base and as soon as it remove its bases uh, remove the base of the fluorescence or fluorescent base fluorescence conjugated base then the distance between fluoro the distance between quencher and this fluorescent base increases that results in the fluorescence or that results in the signal uh, that can be measured and uh, that helps in uh, understanding that helps in the uh, quantification of on the uh, dna that has been formed from the pcr reaction so this is uh, uh, one of the strategy that people use to quantify uh, dna that is with the help of tuckman primer that's all for this video thank you for your time